Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of important settings when using audio and video in your Google Slides presentations. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample presentation with video and audio. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to add some audio to this slide and talk about what's happening here in my backyard on May 9th, 2020. Now, there's a lot of tools out there for recording audio, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use vocaroo.com, which is quick and easy to use. In this picture, we're looking at my backyard on May 9th, 2020, which was unseasonably late to have a three inch snowfall. So now I'm going to save this audio file. And I'm going to download it. You can see I have it there. Bokaru May 12th is the default title for it. I'm going to rename it to something that makes a little bit more sense. I'm just going to call it my Snowfall Audio. And now I'm going to upload that to my Google Drive. I'm going to do a file upload. And I'm going to call it my Sample Snowfall Audio. There it is. And so I'm now uploading that to my Google Drive. You can see right there, snowfallaudio.mp3. So now I'm ready to use that in my Google Slide, where it says sample audio will go here. That's where I'm going to put my sample audio. So let's go to the Insert menu and select Audio. And let's do that Snowfall Audio file. And you can click and drag, put it anywhere you want on the screen. And you'll see over here our audio playback. We have it play automatically. I can have it loop the audio if I like. You can even change the volume. But there's one important thing we need to know about this. Right now, I have this slideshow shared with my buddy Mason. And I'm going to make it available to anyone who has the link can view it. Now, the trouble here is that I haven't changed the permission on the audio file itself. So right now, even though Mason has access to view it and anyone who has the link to the slideshow has access to view the slideshow, they won't hear that audio played back. So let's go into my Snowfall audio. And I'm going to do my search for file type of just audio. Now there's my Snowfall audio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to change the permissions on it and say get shareable link. Now anyone who has this link has access to hear the audio, including anyone who's viewing this presentation on his or her own computer or tablet or phone will be able to hear that audio played back. Now, a similar thing is true when we deal with video embedded from Google Drive into our slides. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert a video. I have this sample that I want to use. And again, you'll see here, I have all my options for autoplay when presenting, all those playback settings, but I need to make sure that in Google Drive, I have changed that permission so that anyone who has the link can view it. And you see right there, sample for Google Slides demos. I need to change that and say, get shareable link now I have that turned on. Now anyone viewing the presentation with that shareable link for the presentation can see the video played back as well. So those are a couple of important settings when sharing or using audio and video in your Google Slides presentations. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.